There was this bug, and like any other bug, it was small. Now this bug followed all the rules, like all the good bugs, and did all its proper duties. The little bug lived on a farm. Living on a farm was both a good thing and a bad thing. It was a good thing for the bug to live on the farm, because there was always a place to hide. On the farm, there was always good enough food laying around. Well, at least enough for a little bug. But on the bad side of living on a farm are those very dangerous chickens who love to eat bugs. They are always pecking the ground, and then there are all the animals, the goats and cows, the dogs and cats. They all love to step on and play with any unsuspecting bug. As one can understand, a bug's life can be very lonely and dangerous, with everything trying to eat you or squash you. Now with all the risk, the little bug still loved life and believed in its goodness and its opportunity. When things got rough or difficult, the bug believed its hard shell and its inner strength would protect it and keep it from harm. You see, this bug wanted something big to happen. And something big did happen. And it all started with a trip to the barn one Halloween weekend. It was Halloween and the pumpkins were out and their smell made the little bug very, very hungry. And the little bug knew exactly where to get some food to satisfy its hunger. Inside the great barn was where the farmer kept his chicken feed. There were always bits of chicken feed on the floor, but on this day, the barn was a mess and the feed was all over the floor. The bug was so excited it was going to get more than a tasty snack. So it headed towards the feed and on its very first bite, poof! With a flash of light, the little bug grew into a monstrous size. What the bug did not know was somehow the feed had mixed with some powerful fertilizer. This created a miracle grow concoction with the fertilizer mixing with the feed, and that's exactly what happened. The little bug grew as if by a miracle. Now, it was no longer the little bug on the farm, but now it was a very big bug, an enormous bug, a monstrous bug. Now it was bigger than the chickens who wanted to peck at it, bigger than the cats who wanted to play with it, and even bigger than the dog who chased everything on the farm. The bug thought, well, finally, something really big actually did happen to me. I'm going to have myself a big adventure. So instead of staying on the farm, the big and slightly monstrous bug departed for parts unknown. The bug had no idea where to go, but what it did have was a keen sense of smell and decided it would head towards what it thought would be the woods and hopefully near a lake. The bug had heard from some of the flying insects that lakes are beautiful and teeming with life, but getting there proved to be quite interesting. The bug and its size startled the people passing by, and the bug soon learned about the dangers of crossing the street. The bug soon made it to the woods and then to the lake, and it was fun for a while. It was all so interesting but a little frightening. The bug did not want to scare people, and as a big bug, it needed lots and lots of food, which was not as easy to get. And as for hiding, a big bug is a hard thing to conceal, and soon the bug wished it was small again and back to its original size. And then with a flash and a poof, the bug did indeed return to its normal size. Apparently the miracle concoction seemed to wear off and lose its effect. The bug felt so happy to be itself again, relieved to be the size it was always meant to be. But now, the bug's new problem was how to get itself back home. It took a long, long time for the bug to return to its farm, but when it did, it was content that the little bug did indeed have a wonderful adventure, like it had always dreamed of. But in the end, it was glad to be home and glad to be itself again.